One of the top halo cars we're working on right now is a 1972 Chevrolet Camaro, nicknamed TT, and really nicknamed for a simple reason, twin turbo. More along the lines of a true GT car, a grand touring car. We're not trying to build a pro touring car. We're not trying to build something that's gonna weave in and out of cones, even though the suspension under this will allow that, especially with uh, high quality components like the JRI shocks. But we're actually trying to make a uh, freeway flying high class, very comfortable, obviously very well powered vehicle for the customer. Um, I guess the jewel of the car is the engine, which is a cast iron 427 small block Chevrolet motor built by Nelson Racing Engines. Um, it has his patented mirror image turbos, which is a right and left hand turbo. The motor makes approximately 1200 horsepower on pump gas, around 1400 on race gas. It also features his alien intake. Now inside of this has the throttle body, 16 fuel injectors, built-in fuel regulators. Everything is inside of this unit. Um, it's a very, very interesting way of fuel delivery. What you do in your gas tank, you literally have two tanks inside of one with two fuel pumps. The first fuel pump is um, providing fuel to the first set of eight injectors, which allows you to drive around on a four or 500 horsepower small block Chevy, which means it's very easy to drive and very manageable. When the computer senses boost from the turbos, it turns on the other pump and provides fuel into the other eight injectors. So it's an ingenious uh, way of delivering fuel that lets this car be usable and drivable, but yet have 1200 horsepower and be able to drive it around on the street. Only years ago, that was impossible. In fact, that was uh, insane drag racing power that could barely be manageable except down a quarter mile. So all this technology allows this to be an extremely high powered vehicle, but be drivable and uh, be able to safely be driven around the roads and the highways as long as you're being careful. As soon as you put your foot into it, you still indeed are unleashing <laughs> a whole lot of horsepower. Um, so this motor has been moved back about three inches. The core support has been cut up and modified. It used to come back like this. It's been pushed forward about three, three and a half inches, and that's made room for this big open area here is for an air to water intercooler and then a specially made uh, Ron Davis radiator. This tank here is a reservoir for power steering. That one is where you can put the coolant in that goes through the intercoolers. So there's been a lot, again, a lot of packaging in this car, a lot of electronics in this car. Um, the uh, interior is controlled by flat screens and soft touch buttons. Exterior will be Aston Martin tungsten. The interior is Aston Martin bitter chocolate leather on Alcantara. So it should be a very, very nice place to sit and drive and ride. Well, here we are starting in April and our goal is to get it off the paint soon and uh, have it assembled and prepared for an unveiling at SEMA this year, uh, 2013. Hopefully we're back there again. Thank you.